come back to session two under break even analysis. So here we are discussing key terminologies under break even analysis. So if please if you are new on this channel, I given a link in the description section. You can check toward the part one of break even analysis that we started earlier on so that you can build your understanding right from there up to this point or this section so that we can all move with you. So if you are also new, please make sure to like our videos, subscribe, share and give us a thumbs up and you comment any difficult that you find in your study so that we can help you out and clarify your misunderstanding. So thank you. So let's move into the next section under break even. So we are going to look at these key terminologies under break even analysis. We are going to be talking about break even point contribution per unit, your margin of safety then marginal cost right so let's start with break even point we are saying that break even point is a point at which a company makes neither profit or loss as i said because when you check the previous video we had we said that always when there is a break even there is neither profit nor what loss okay if there is neither profit or loss meaning that profit is got to zero I mean you didn't make any losses or what profit so with break even point is the point at which the company neither makes what a profit nor what loss neither make a profit or loss or neither make a profit or what or loss that's what i mean by the break even point so at that point there is no profit made or losses what in care that's so meaning that at that point your total revenue then bring it here meaning that at that point your total revenue will be called your total cost that is what break even point want to tell us and the break even point you have to aspect you have to break even point in terms of what units and break even point in terms of what value break even point in terms of units is the level of output at which the organization breaks even where it didn't make any profit or what a loss and the break even point in terms of value is a monetary value at which there was neither profit nor losses what made so that's the two aspects we have break even points in units and break even point in terms of value and when you start with the calculations you get to know more, much more better about what, what i'm talking about now then we are saying that contribution Per unit, what is contribution pay? Contribution is also an aspect of what break even. So, anytime you pay your marginal question statement for profit or loss, your profit they are going to get, you call it contribution. You call it contribution. Right, so what do you mean by contribution per unit? You are saying that contribution per unit is basically the difference between your the difference between your selling price per unit per unit minus your variable cost per what unit please let's keep this or let's get this concept right away contribution per unit basically your selling price per unit minus your variable cost per unit so we are saying that contribution it is basically it measures the contribution it measures uh the effort that uh organization made by each item of the output with regards to the first cost and profit of what such organization okay based on the factors that employed in the production and even the selling of what such goods so it measures the effort or additional efforts that organization made towards the first cost aspect and the profit of the organization so basically contribution is called your selling price per unit minus your variable cost per unit so that is contribution that is contribution all right then we're talking about margin of what safety. We are saying that margin of safety is basically the level beyond which profits can be what engaged. The level is measured with the level at which the organization can. Sorry, I said it measures the level at which or beyond the break even what point. This is the level beyond what big beam point. That's the once you reach or you reach that level, you can what make what profit. Okay, that's beyond which big beam 
that's beyond which can make what profit sorry so that's your margin of safety so if let's say assuming that i have this line this line they are saying that organization breaks even at this point this is my break even point here so all units above this break even point let's say point a all units above point a Anytime organization produce above all these points A, there is what a profit that is going to make. But when it produce at this point, they are making what? Uh, they are break even. There is neither profit nor loss that will be what made. So that's margin of safety. Margin of safety is the level beyond what break even points where organization can what make profit. Okay, so that is your margin of safety so in calculation you are saying the margin of safety is calculated like this here's our margin of safety let me bring it here here's our margin of safety is calculated margin of safety you are saying the margin of safety so much time is shortened by saying mos margin of safety is equal to your your sales if in terms of units it comes to your sales in units minus your break even point your break even point in units but if we were to be in value, then we come what? Sales in value minus your break even point in value. Your break even point in value. That's what I mean by what? The margin of what? Safety. The margin of what? Safety. The margin of safety. So you have two forms. You have in unit and in value. As I said, that break even point you have in unit and set in what? In value. The same thing also applies. So the difference between your sales and your break even point to get your margin of what safety all right then what do you mean by what marginal cost you are saying that marginal cost basically additional cost and remember break even on the marginal cost it employs marginal costing principles in the preparation or in its calculation to determine the point where the organization is neither making a profit or loss okay so that's one aspect so marginal cost is basically we're talking about additional cost of what one unit the organization will to produce the additional cost of what one unit the organization is able to what, produce so you can call marginal cost as such that's marginal cost you can even call it your variable cost variable cost per unit or marginal cost what per unit or costing for what in costing for internal reporting what's that we use this for costing principle for internal to report and by it's used by managers for making all decisions about how to go about the activities of the organization so that's marginal what cost that's marginal cost that we're talking about this one marginal cost additional cost of what one unit all right so these are the things that we'll be looking at under break even analysis and these are the terminologies that we're looking at you talk about break even a point contribution per unit margin of safety then your marginal cost so let's zoom to talk about an aspect of an aspect of break even formless you're going to discuss formless and a break even so break even formless or formula any way you want it formula that is because there are many so break even formula break even analysis formula so first of all we're gonna start with break even point because that's why we are actually talking so you're going to discuss break even analysis and you're going to discuss the formulas under break even analysis so we start with break even point so how do you get the break even point you are saying that your break even point your break even point in terms of units is your total fixed cost divided by your selling price minus your variable cost all per unit take a note but there is a way to get this formula right so now let's go into how we had this remember we said earlier on that your total revenue will be caught your total cost when there is break even there is standard profit or loss made right so at this point we know that for you to get your total revenue your total revenue is equal to your selling price so i'll use p to represent your selling price multiply by then the number of points you're able to do. so i'll use let's say x to represent what your output that's going to what be able to what sell okay so i'll use s to represent what the output able to sell 
then so this one will give your total what revenue then your total cost you know we said that one of the assumptions is that, that total cost can be separated to face and or variable cost components if you remember so we sh in the first video we made on this aspect so you can say that your total cost will be in this form fixed cost plus your variable cost remember variable cost here is variable cost per unit so for you to get the total variable cost it is the variable cost per unit multiplied by the output which is what x that you present here so i'm going to present the same thing here as x because i hope everything is okay All right so on the basis of this we can do some factorization so i can say that my total revenue minus my total variable cost will equal to my total fixed cost i just bring this one the v multiplied by x to join that of p x which is the total revenue so here at this point i'm going to factor the i'm going to look at the items that are common and the common denominator here is what my x so i'll factor the x as i can see that x will be in this form factor x out so that i'll multiply it by p then subtract here by what v then is equal to what f i hope that is clear. so i divide both sides by p minus v divide both sides by p minus v and therefore my x will be equal to what f over p minus v and remember p minus v is per unit and this is what we are actually talking about so you clearly see that i have my fixed cost which is f then my selling price per unit is what p and my variable cost per unit is what v and this x is my break even point in terms of what units because that's why i use to represent the units and this is how we drive the break even point in terms of units because i hope that is okay let's add up the break even point in terms of what the break even point in terms of value so with the value to you we are we want to add monetary aspect or monetary amount to it so with the value just multiply it by what the selling price per unit so it becomes your fixed cost divided by your selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit multiplied by your selling price per unit multiplied by your selling price per unit then you're going to get your break even point in terms of what value so let's do let's take some two or three questions under this aspect and see the way forward all right so we are continuing with an example we have two examples here so we are going to take the first one go through with how we're going to solve it then we take the second one as well so let's see the flow information relates to action park limited we will to some parameter sales 25,000 units at $150 per unit face cost $450,000 and a variable cost 70 sorry $70 per unit so we are asked to find out the break-even point in units and in what in value so how do you go by they have your solution here remember as in par limited as a name, so we need to have that one. As in par limited, as in the light, nicely. So we start. We have the sales units, these are our sales, sales value there. Then we have our first cost, then we also sales in units, sales in units, it's about 25,000. Then that's in twenty five thousand. Then your variable cost. Let me show you variable cost per unit is equal to you. a less of seventy. Then your selling price per unit is equal to one fifty. 150. So here we are asked to find what then our face cost rather our total face cost is equal to 450 dollars. So we are asked to find 
we are asked to find break even point in Gini. So here our BEP break even point in units. Remember the formula we said break even point is what the formula is fixed cost over your price minus what your variable cost or per unit. Remember, yes. So here, where is my first cost? My first cost is what twenty. Sorry, my first cost is four fifty thousand dollars. So here becomes four fifty thousand divided by my price is what my selling price per unit is what 150 right so i'll fix in here the 150 my next my variable cost it was given is what 70 dollars remember all in per units so here what you need to do is pick your calculator so i have 450,000 divided by bracket 150 minus 70 so i had five i had five six two five you can also check yours and let's see so you clearly see that the cities will cancel the cities will become what five six two five i have five six two five genus so this will be the genus so if you want the break even point in terms of sales or in value then straight away i can say that here ai i let's say ai i i can say that my break even point in sales or in value will be equal to my break even point without even driving a formula break even point in units multiplied by my selling price per what unit I hope everything is well sure so that's how it should be so here I'll be having 5625 multiplied by my selling price which is what 150 US so multiply by 150 US that becomes what so let's do the calculation so it becomes 5625 multiplied by 1 to 150 sorry 150 so it becomes it becomes eighty four thousand. It becomes eight hundred and eight hundred and forty three thousand eight four three eight four three thousand seven hundred and what fifty dollars. That's what I had. You can also check yours and let's see what you have. Okay, seven hundred and fifty. So this will be my break even point in terms of value and break even point in terms of what unit so that's how example one is done so if you have any question you can comment below the chat session then i can give response later on all right so let's take on to question example two as well example two example two example two let's see Example two to relate. Example two it says that Adam Enterprise is planning. Adam Enterprise is planning. Is planning its activities for the year two thousand and one projections. Let's read it again. Adam Enterprise is planning its activities for the year to twenty twenty one. Full stop. So there is a full stop there. Projections for the year are as follows. Variable cost per unit is what? 37, 375. First cost is 450. Ghana sorry. Then your break even sales is called 10,000 in units. Please note this. Say 10,000 in what? In units. So, meaning that what is this break even sales is talking about? Meaning is what? Break even point in terms of what? Units. That's your break-even point in terms of fortunes. So you are giving you the break-even point in terms of fortunes. So you are asking you now that find the selling price. Find the selling price. So then be break-even point in what? In value. Selling price and break-even point in what? Value. 
sure let's see so you have your solution as usual then you have the name for the business or add them right so add them enterprise add them enterprise so i have my adam enterprise as the name so let's start with the variables in here so we have your variable cost i'm using shortcut to represent that so don't worry variable cost per unit was equal to gonna of 375 then your fixed cost was equal to Four fifty thousand, and your break even in terms of sales that was in units was equal to hundred thousand units. So, I'm add a units to it again. So, this is your break even point in terms of what units. So, you're asked to find the selling price. You know, for you to find the selling price per unit. We said that break even point in terms of value is equal to your sorry break even point in terms of unit is equal to your fish cost over price per unit that's seven price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So you're going to go that formula then we start to reduce our substitution into what or better still you can go for another alternative after that. We try the alternative, okay? So here my break even point in units will be equal to my face cost over my face cost over my face cost over my price minus variable cost or in pay what units so now I know my big even point in units as well thousand is here so it's straight away I was here so that it becomes a thousand sorry ten thousand is ten thousand is equal to then my first cost I know it is what four fifty I know my first cost is four fifty shilling I've gonna shell and then divided by but I don't know my price so are you gonna use P to represent it okay then I know my but I know my variable cost per unit to be 375. 375. Remember, they are all in per unit, so you have your financial in here. Alright, so here I'm going to do a cross multiplication. So this will multiply this, and this also multiply that. All right? Here's what I'm saying. Yeah. So here, one, so it becomes 450. Thousand and is equal to ten thousand multiplied by p minus three seven five. When we reach here, someone may decide to expand the bracket. Another person might say, Let me divide both sides by what ten thousand divide both sides by ten thousand. So you divide both sides by ten thousand, meaning that ten thousand cancel this and we can cancel this. So here we cancel this and we are left with p minus thirty. 375 so here this one going to cancel 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 then this one to cancel this you are left with 45 and it's equal to p minus 375 so therefore i can say that 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 37 Five will be equal to what P. Remember, it was negative, so when you join this, it becomes what positive. So let's add 45 plus 375. What will be the outcome? 45. Gonna get what 420. So it becomes kind of selling of what 420 as your price. So this is your selling price. This is your selling price. I hope that is okay. So that's how you go by that. So anytime they give you any break even point in terms of genes or in value, just go the formula again then do substitution and find the unknown value and that is all. So here you know that they gave you the break even point, but they didn't give you actually 
the selling price per unit so that you shall use to find for that all right so that is the price the i part i so let's start with the i i let's take on to the i i and let's see let's take on to the i i and let's see let's take on to the i i and let's see so the i i let me take it from here so see i i let me pick it from here and pick the i i from here so i can say that so i can say that i'm asked to find out my break even point in value now so now once i know my selling point i can say that therefore my break even point in value my break even point in value break even point in value will be equal to my break even point in unit my break even point in unit multiplied by my selling price per unit selling price per unit selling price per unit this one i'm talking about selling price so here trade away i can say that my break even point unit was given the question was what 10,000 units multiplied by my break even sorry my selling price is what 420 so what will be the outcome i'm gonna get 420 so i'm going to get so the zero is going to be for one two three four five rather so three four five so one two three go one two three then i'm going to get four million i'm going to get four million get four million two hundred thousand remember they are in they are in the national so that will be the outcome so this is how it to go or better to go by the formula approach and you're going to get there as such so that is how you go by that you could also say that with the how to find the selling price you have said that we know our total revenue is equals to our total what? cost right so i can you can clearly say that if i know if you cannot know your total revenue is actually is equal to your fixed cost plus your variable cost multiplied by the quantity let's say driven by what? x okay but we know that in the question was what 10,000 was given so you should have used this approach or this formula this formula and you could still get your selling price because after you're going to get what you're going to get the whole of you are going to get is equivalent to this aspect so once you get this meaning that whatever you had it from here is the same thing as this and you can use your total revenue that you have from here because you said break even at the big win point your total cost got your total revenue so at that point, whatever you have it from here, we divide by what? The number of units. So that you get your break even. Sorry, you get your selling price. You divide by the units and you get your selling price. So that is how you should have go by if you have another alternative to do so. So this is where we bring an end to section two of break even analysis. So we'll continue in the next video where we discuss the aspect of margin of safety contribution targeted profit and the rest as the last section under break even and I even discuss the aspect of the graph under break even analysis so if this video was helpful to you please make sure to subscribe turn notification bell so that you get all dates from us then like and share to as many students as possible so that we can reach and serve many people so that we can hit 1k this might we need to hit 1k okay so that we can get on top so thank you once again for watching it's been a pleasure for me to come here to assist you to guide you to achieve your maximum best so thank you and see you in the next section where we discuss matters that are presented so far thank you